Hey guys, what's up? It's once again, it's mp4podcast.com. And today I want to talk about the Canon EOS 650D that's in Europe. In North America, it's called the Canon Rebel T4i. And I believe in Asia, it's called the Canon EOS uh, KISS 650D, I believe. In Japan, they call them KISS. In North America, they refer to them as Rebels. And I think in Europe, they just call them EOS um, part of the line. But anyway, I'll be referring to this camera as a T4i. It's, all the, it's the same camera, just different uh, labels. So what's bad about this camera? Well, it does suffer from the same issues all of all the other Canon um, DSLRs, except for the Mach 3, Eolusync, and Moray. Now, what I do recommend is watch this video uh, first so you have a very good understanding of what Moray is in Eolusync. I will say this, Vimeo is much better for looking at uh, camera footage from different uh, cameras. Uh, people really do test them out. It's kind of like a social social networking for camera nerds. Like cam people who are into cameras, video video filmmaking, that's where they post it. They post it mostly on Vimeo. Anyway, how can you avoid aliasing and more ray? Well, more, more ray is like when col uh, the colors get all scrambled. Well, let's say I'm filming somebody and there's a building across from them that has a brick pattern. Uh, if I can simply just blur the background out, I'll avoid the uh, moiré issues. So you can do a couple of things like that. Uh, the other thing is if you want to film that building, uh, you can get a little closer and see if that avoids it. Now you're not going to be able to really know if it's avoiding it by looking at the LCD because there is another step of down sampling for the LCD monitor. Uh, so you really can't tell just by looking at the uh, the LCD screen. One tip I would say if you're in a video production, if you can simply maybe bring a laptop and uh, take out the SD card uh, and do a quick uh, sample test, you know maybe you can bring an iPad. I haven't tested it, but maybe you can get one of those SD cards that hooks up to an iPad and play the, uh, the file back. But I want to talk about some other solutions to avoiding more a and aliasing and one of those solutions is the cap rock filter now this filter basically what it does it softens the image and that just I want to talk about something else um, if you don't have any filters or any way to really avoid moray if you just simply do go into the Canon menu and knock down the sharpness that will significantly uh, lessen your chance to gain aliasing and moray but you can still get ALC and Moray because the way the Canon sensor line skips, it's very susceptible to Moray and ALC. But you can still you'll still get it on um, extreme conditions, and that's where the cap rock filter comes in. And this will pretty much avoid all ALC and Moray issues. Now you can still get more uh, Moray or ALC, but I'm talking about a very extreme uh, conditions. Probably if you you know you have like a, um, um, what do you call it, a cooking uh, net whatever you call it, you know when you pour spaghetti into a, 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 a drainer or something the way the metal is so um, uh, weaved together it's almost impossible to really avoid that and a lot of other cameras do have uh, extreme problems even very high end pro cameras movie cameras will have problems with that. But anyway, um, the more it still is, the footage would probably still be acceptable uh, if you use the cap rock filter. But I do want to say, if you do have a couple lenses, get the biggest cap rock filter and then get step down rings. Step down rings are just dummy filters, so you can so you can put big filters on smaller lenses. And they actually even um, talk about that if you want to get that. You know, I think it's like right over here. You can read this over here. So the cap rock filter is one easy way to avoid ALC and Moiré, and there's a lot of test footage on Vimeo. So if you just type in cap rock and Vimeo, you'll see see some videos. One of the other solutions I want to talk about is from the, I think it's from a company called Moiré Mosaic Engineering. Now this is for the Canon uh, 5D Mark II. I believe they also make a filter for the 7D 
they made a filter for the uh, Nikon D800 and basically these filters go into the camera itself and it works really good uh, may have a couple of issues with a few lenses here and there but I believe if you watch this video right here you, Philip has a, a bunch of lenses that he does test and you can see where uh, your limitations are with some lenses but most lenses will work pretty well with this filter uh, it's not a cheap filter it does go for about uh, $400 and I believe they have one for the 70 and they're working on another filter for the 60D and uh, maybe the T3i uh, but there's also another filter uh, that's from Carl Zeiss which can avoid aliasing and more it's a lot like the cap rock filter in some ways but the design of the filter is um, a little bit different as you right here you can see the more where you see the blue in the tile and that's just the color is being scrambled over here you can see it's it's knocked out and here is a filter let me just scroll down until you see uh, a better picture it has these little dots on the glass and basically what it's supposed to do is soften the image so you avoid uh, moray issues however if you let's click over to a different tab I'm still on the same page but you do want to read um, the comment by Steve Oakley Steve Oakley says if you just get a cheap sky filter and get some uh, nail polish and make some dots on the sky filter you can make your own softening filter that's designed to knock off more he says they work some other people have said they tried it and it doesn't work maybe it works on some other cameras you know maybe uh, some other cameras just doesn't work that well they give it a try you can pick up sky filters for like 10 bucks you know just get a Hoyer or something like that from Amazon and when you think you need it if it does work uh, throw it on and if you don't need it just screw it off so that's pretty much it um, all these links will be in the description box of this video now I just do want to say Canon I really believe what they wanted to do with the T4i or the 650D they wanted to add autofocus in video mode they're coming out with special lenses for that they wanted to update the LCD monitor I heard it's much sharper so maybe you'll be able to detect real more uh, in the LCD I know you can't do that with previous um, LCD monitors but it is a good camera but keep in mind that the moray and aliasing problem is basically because the sensors are designed for still photography and not video even though it does take good video I also do want to say the only cameras that um, can avoid moray and aliasing uh, is the Panasonic GH1 the Panasonic GH2 and the Canon 5D Mark III which has a special uh, filter on the scene off sensor to soften it up just a little bit to avoid those issues but it does soften the video and there have been people that have removed that filter from the Mach 3 to get the sharper uh, image but again you're back to having uh, more and aliasing problems the Panasonic cameras do not I don't believe have softening filters I believe they have a patent they just know how to down sample much better maybe because the sensor is designed more for video than stills I have a GH2 myself I can tell you flat out the JPEGs out of that camera are not that great uh, the, uh, the stills are good if you do uh, take photos in raw, raw um, but the JPEGs uh, they're not that great but anyway um, all cameras have their limitations there no camera is really perfect you just have to learn the limitations of your camera and you know know how to avoid those uh, problems or maybe if you do end up with a few problems here and there they're not too bad a lot of times people still use that footage remember um, it's very complicated when you're filming off of these big sensors and you're trying to downsample so you know there's probably not going to be a perfect camera uh, for a while so anyway this is mp4podcast.com sign up and if this video has helped you Please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a sub subscriber. Take care, everyone. Later, guys. I'm out. Go, go film something. Go, go put a bunch of lenses in your camera bag and go out to the woods and fill a, gr a grizzly bear or something like that. 
Take care, everyone. Later, guys. Bye. <laughs>